New video takes us inside the gun scare at UCF. Police responded to reports of a man with a weapon in the dorms. News 6's Nikki Zizaza joins us live in the newsroom with how all of this unfolded. Well, Matt, the police response was swift, and tonight we're getting an up-close glimpse of what happened once police entered Tower 1 at UCF and confronted the student who was reported to be carrying a gun. We're getting a look at dash cam and body camera footage of those terrifying moments. A series of videos released by the University of Central Florida's police department give us a closer look into what prompted the panic Friday night. Report of a student with a gun causing a major police response at UCF. Where is the BB gun in the room? Body camera so, footage shows yeah. police confronting the student seen with what a witness says looked like a gun. You understand why we're doing this? Okay. Because we think you got a real gun. This place is surrounded by cops, so you're not going to do anything foolish, right? No, of course. Go ahead and cuff him up. A noise complaint and a report by a resident assistant initiating the takedown. I'm sorry for it. Um, yeah, sorry is a good start. This after a resident knocked on the door of the dorm room requesting the resident turn their music down. That's when he spotted what police later determined to be a BB gun. You understand why you got cuffed, right? You understand that we got a call that somebody looking exactly like you in the room had a gun on you. Fears unfounded, but only after the university fired off alerts sparking panic messages on social media. We're not going to arrest you tonight. No after all this, okay, we're, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and get you out of cuffs, but we want to get a statement from no you. Problem. The student cooperating with officers. This could have gone down a significantly oh, different way. You, you understand that, right? Want. Now we're told the student will not face criminal charges. University officials say he may face disciplinary action according to UCF's Office of Student Conduct. As for the alerts, UCF apologized for using poor choice of language in their alert. UCF chief praising police for their action. Live in the newsroom, Nikki Zizaza getting results. News 6. Nikki, thank you.